I just test out the the Win Python 3.5.1. It is this one. It doesn't require any installation, and you can use it on the USB. I just installed the portable version, which is this one. I just installed this one to my USB on my other computer. I save it to the USB here. So when you double click it, it will get you a zip folder or whatever. And when you unzip it, you will get this one. So when you press inside, these are all the Python distribution files. So you don't need to do any installation. I think it's quite handy because I just save it on my USB, like this one, my Toshiba USB. Or I just run the spider. This is the text editor that allows you to type the code. So I just double click that. And for the first time, it depends on your machine. It will run quite a long time. But this time is very quick because I just run that once on my PC, uh, which has 16 gig of RAM. So it's pretty fast, as you can see. I uh, just import pandas and just use the pandas package, like what you see here. The pandas package. And I just read a CSV file with the stock data. The stock file is sitting inside my D drive. Here, I just read this CSV file. So basically that it's the code that I did last night. It was in on my F drive in my laptop, but in my desktop is on my D drive. So it's a toot folder and the file name is a CSV and I use the pandas function, the PD, because I named pandas as PD. PD and then I use the dot CSV bracket, which is this one. Dot CS uh, read CSV, and then you put in your file name, the file path. Okay, so it's very simple. I'm reading that because I named the table, the resulting table to be Hong Kong EX, which is the Hong Kong Stock Exchange, and then I want to type. I want to return the latest five records, but I need to include print. Okay, so once you get your file, uh, just run and then press it. But I get used to the pod key, I press F5. And then you see it here, the console, the IPython console is just running what you did from the code here. It's reading from the code from a Python file. It is returning the latest five days record. And of course you can do like more calculation here. Let's say I want to get the first five data. F5. And then I get the first five days data okay so i think that's pretty handy for stock analysis or other like a scientific calculation i like this wind python very much hopefully it helps thank you bye bye